Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today, we're going to discuss Batman the Miniature Game by Knight's Models. And so this is a game recently got into with the launch of 3rd edition. But what we noticed when we were looking at the game is that there's still a 2nd edition for sale. So, 2nd edition, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rising box. Full retail price is 153 You can now find it anywhere on eBay, 104 to the full retail price. So that's a big range right there. Now, the third edition box, full MSRP is $170. Sometimes you might be able to get it down to $153, but it's hard to find due to the impacts of COVID on Spain. I was lucky enough to get one during those rare windows of when it was available. But when you look at it, which starter box is of the best value? Because with the move to third edition, the rule book, a lot of the cards are made free online. So the value proposition here is which box has the best models for the price? Since the rules, markers, tokens for the second edition are no longer valuable, and it's time to clear these out, ask ourselves would it be better just buy second edition and use the free stuff online? or go ahead and buy the third edition box. So the findings right now, just go ahead and buy the third edition box. I still think even at the 170 or if you can find it for $153, this is the better value. And why do I make that statement? Bottom line, the theme of this box is the Dark Knight Rising movie. So you get Batman versus Bane. That's fine. I bought it anyway. This right here makes me think of the animated series. Far superior. Takes me back. You get the Joker and you get Batman. But first, let's do a comparison, some side-by-sides of what you get in the box. Now, let's start with terrain. So starting with the terrain that you find in the second edition box, you get this pop-out cardstock and... I didn't put all the bits in, I wanted to be able to pop it apart and fold it flat. But you start with a gun shop there, and you will also get this rundown building. Looks like a boarding house or warehouse of some sort. Yeah, the rolling gate probably a warehouse. They're also reversible, you can see right there, you can get an art deco. 1920s style building that says, ah, there it is, Daggett Industries. So you can either get two small buildings or one large fancy building there. Um, now, one of my issues with this is when I buy games, I like terrain that's interchangeable between multiple scales. So Batman is at 35 millimeters. Let's take something like Marvel Crisis Protocol which is at the 40 millimeter or O scale train. And if we put them together, we can see, this is what I like about MCP, the three inch rise for, uh, per story, which is compatible with 28 millimeter. So you can see, even though MCP is 40 millimeter, this terrain is designed for MCP. The Batman terrain at 35 millimeter is much taller. So I could probably get away with using this with MCP, but it's not as flexible as the MCP terrain itself. I'm really not going to use this with 28 millimeters. So you can see what it looks like when you put the cars there. So I mean, the vehicles from MCP work as well, but still, the buildings are big and chunky, but from the aesthetic, they are usable across multiple games. Now something else the second edition box comes with is a terrain area to set your buildings when you pop them out. Now this isn't as nice as like Games Workshop's Kill Team boards, their new 40K boards, but it's usable, it's doable. You see you get tiny little streets here, the MCP cars, are kind of big on it. Actually, any type of gaming car would appear to be big on it. 
but the buildings are scaled for it, so it can work. Now let's look at the train that you find in the third edition box set. So since the theme is Batman versus Joker, you get a huge amount of carnival terrain. And not just any carnival, more of your insane clown posse themed carnival. Yes, it just keeps coming. And of course, the piece de resistance, which is tough to get onto any camera shot, is the Ferris wheel. That Ferris wheel is huge. So something else it comes with is these little poster stands. So I've got the Grayson's Act, Zartana, Two-Face, two and various. Now the thing I don't like about these is that while these items hold together under their own tension, these ones are loose in there. They just fall apart. So I've got to decide if I actually want to glue those together. You also get some police railing barriers there that you can stick up around and make the carnival into a crime scene to deal with. Once again, these are loose. I've got to decide if I want to glue them in. Otherwise, when I play, they're just going to fall over the table. Now, the thing I like about the third edition terrain and why I think it's superior is that with the two blocky buildings from second edition, they create giant obstructions. But the third edition terrain, you can create a maze of, and a lot of line of sign blocking. So you can, if you do something like this, you can wend the miniatures on top of, around, through. It creates a much more complex and much more varied terrainscape for your miniatures to battle on. Now we're going to talk about the miniatures that you find in the second and third edition starter set. Now we'll start with the older edition, the second edition. So you figure full retail is $150. You get 12 miniatures. So you're paying slightly over $10 a miniature. Now, considering a lot of these are on clearance sale from $104, $105 on up, that means you're paying under $10 per miniature, which is a really good price. And basically why I bought this set to expand upon my third edition set. But let's look at what you get for with these 12 models. Two of them are actually vehicles here. So you got a Catwoman on the bike there. You got the Batpod. You get another Catwoman, Batman, and three of Gotham's finest matched up against Bane his second in command, two mercenaries, and Miranda Tate. So that's the force you get with. Now, these are nice models and everything, but it's kind of underwhelming when you compare it to what you get here with the third edition starter set. So at $170, and I got mine for 153 from Knight's Models directly. They ran a little sale while they still had these in stock, but you get 16 mo models here. And if you pay the full retail, you're paying slightly over $10, not as much as the Dark Knight Rises per model, but at the 153, you're paying just under 10, and you get a lot more models here. And I also like the diversity of models. So you have Joker's gang here. You get six of those guys. One of my favorite characters, Deadshot. That's what sold me on the set. You also have Harley Quinn and the Joker. Now, these are their over-the-top bases, which I had to do. They come with more sensible, combat-realistic bases, but I'm only going to build these guys once. Might as well go all out. Now, on the good guy side, you get 
three more uniformed detec uniformed officers, what they call an undercover detective. So you get a fourth officer, a plain clothes detective eating a donut and drinking coffee. Love it for its realism. Commissioner Gordon and an artistic stylized Batman. Now, this is a piece I wanted to point out. So one way you can build Commissioner Gordon is him leaning against this piece right here. I built him on a more, you know, normal sized base and just going to use this as a terrain piece instead. So there's some extra value in there that I get it instead of getting one character model that's on a big fancy base, I decided I'll get a terrain piece and a character model there. And since I prefer Joker versus Batman over Bane versus Batman, any price differential was wiped away, especially when you consider that on sale, on both sets, you're just paying under $10 per model, so might as well go for the fancy one. So as I surround myself with more unpainted models that I'll eventually get to and my new terrain, just want to state what our value proposition here is. If you're going to get into Batman Miniatures game, even with the discount on the second edition set, if you can find it, go with the third edition set. The terrain offers more usability and reusability just due to the smaller size but more objects to spread across the battlefield. You also get more models for it, more usable individual figure models, and heck, they're the classic Batman versus Joker. My value proposition on the second edition set is that the police in it are a great supplement to the third edition police if you want more police officers. And Bane and his mercenaries, I will actually probably more likely use in games of uh, cyberpunk skirmish, such as Hardwired, Reality's Edge, um, Cyberzone Red, because those models made by Monster Fight Club are in the 35 millimeter range, which is the same as the Batman. So this will give me different figures to throw into those games. And at its sale price, at under $10 per model, that's just a good buy. So get third edition first. If you need more models, get a second edition box on a clearance sale. So thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time. Look at the size of this thing. This is unbelievable. And the little dudes fit inside so they can ride it. All right, I'll go now.